Suffer the children. Good morning. Today's power scripture comes from Matthew 19, 14. But Jesus said, Let the little children come to me. Don't stop them, because the kingdom of heaven belongs to people who are like these children. Across the country, many schools have already started the new school year and many others are preparing to start within the next few weeks. For some children, this past summer included fabulous family trips to fun locations, family reunions, and great getaways. For other children, this summer was just a struggle to find something constructive to do in order to keep busy and out of trouble. Some children attended sports or technology summer camps, while others dreamed of just being able to get out of their subdivisions and off their blocks. Some could only get away as far as their imaginations can carry them. How our children and grandchildren see themselves and how they dream of what they want to be is so critical. Please let it be important on your to-do list to help reinforce to our young ones just how special they are. Children are steadily bombarded with negative talk, paparazzi news flashes, and hours of unbridled immorality on television. They can experience school life that is tormented by bullies or being placed in local schools that are struggling to maintain the minimum of state requirements for accreditation. Our children play too many video games where life is restored by the push of a button. They believe friendships are contingent upon whether they have the right type of phone or that personality and popularity are determined by how destructive they can act. All of these things are distractive blockades preventing them from being in the presence of the Lord. The closer they may want to get to Jesus, the more they are isolated by these trappings. It is our responsibility to our children and to the village we support to protect them as we guide them to move closer into the presence of Jesus. Find a youngster you can help today. Encourage them to stay focused and seed into their lives in a tangible way. The seeds we plant today will provide for our very own future. Every day is a good day. It is up to us to make it a power-packed great day. Make it a great day for some child. Be blessed, Dr. Joanne.